Hello, I'm Dave from Essential App Support Team. Today I'm going to show you how to add a daily recurring countdown timer on your Shopify store. You can find our products on the Shopify App Store. You simply go there and enter our product name. Once you land on the product page, you simply push Add App. Daily recurring timer is perfect for promoting same day dispatch. It is a great way to encourage your customers to place an order right now. Showing the exact time a buyer has left to place an order is a proven way to create urgency and increase sales. We are hearing that good use of same-day dispatch timer could increase sales up to 10%. Here is how you can set it up today. First step is creating a new timer. It could be done so by pushing on this button. It works with product page, top bar, landing page. I'll choose product page timer type. The first step is configuring the content of your countdown timer. You can set a countdown name, which will be only visible for you. You can change the title. You can change subheading. You can change timer labels. And the most important part is a timer type. We are going to choose daily recurring timer. Here we can set the days when it is going to be shown or repeated. Since I wanted to use for my same day dispatch and I work only on working days from Monday till Friday, I'm going to unselect Saturday and Sunday. Now I need to set my daily start time. I start working at 8. And I end my workday at 5. There is always an error message if your start time is later than the end time. And we can see that the start time at this point is 8 p.m. It should be changed to 8 a.m. As you can see, the error has been cleared once I adjusted my daily starts and end times. Now I need to choose what is going to happen once it ends. I want it to disappear once the timer hits the end time. So I'm going to choose hide the timer. It is also possible to configure a start and end date. You can make it start today or you can make it start at a specific date and even make it end at a specific date. I'm going to choose end time never and the start time today. So it's shown once I publish it. When I'm done with all the configuration in the content tab, I can head for the design. You can do so by simply clicking design. In the design section, you can customize your countdown timer however you want. You can change the color of the background, you can change border colors, border size, spacing, typography, or you can simply choose one of our already predefined design templates. That's what I'm going to do. And I will choose 50 shades of gray. Once I'm done with a design, I can head for the last step, placement. In the placement, I can choose whether my time will be shown on all products, on specific products, on all products with specific tags, or maybe I want to have a custom position. It is possible to add it to a custom position using Shopify app blocks or code snippet. Also, you can configure geolocation targeting so you can show your timer to all world 
or you can show it to a specific content. I'm all done here, and now I can simply publish my timer. Could be done so by clicking Publish button. Once it's published, I can preview the countdown in my store. You can simply do it by pushing Preview Countdown in Store button. Once I'm redirected to my Shopify store, to my product page, where I place the timer, you can see it's automatically appeared here. Since it's almost 3 p.m. on my end, you can see that I have a little bit more than two hours left till 5 p.m. and timer shuts down. However, all teams are different and it is possible the timer hasn't appeared on your end automatically. If so, don't hesitate to contact our support team and we will help you in no time. Thanks for watching.